For over 50 years, the World Series of Poker Main Event has attracted players from across the globe ready to stake their claim to being the world champion of poker. The main event has changed a lot since its inception in 1970. In the beginning, it was less an organized event than a loose collection of card-loving Texans, including one Benny Binion, who decided to host a poker game to attract business to his own Binion's Horseshoe Casino in Las Vegas. In the first iteration of the event, it wasn't even a tournament. Instead, the seven, yes, just seven, entrants played a cash game and then voted on the best player. Legend has it that initially, every player voted for themselves, but on the second vote, when the dust eventually settled, Johnny Moss took home the silver cup that day, no bracelets back then, and became the first ever main event champ. It can be hard to picture, but back when the World Series of Poker began, there were fewer than 50 poker tables in the entire city of Las Vegas and only 70 in the entire state of Nevada. Fast forward to today, and there will be over 600 tables at this year's series alone. While the buy-in has remained $10,000 ever since it was first introduced in 1972, the number of entrants and prizes have reached astronomical heights. In modern times, the prize for the main event champ has hit eight figures on three separate occasions, and with poker's popularity growing, the sky's the limit. With the prize money comes the prestige of being world champion. Names like Doyle Brunson, Amarillo Slim, Stu the Kid Unger, and yes, the poker brat Phil Hellmuth will forever be enshrined in the annals of poker history. And now they're ever, oh, it's a jack! That is a bad beat as Pittman steals the pot. That's why I'm the nine-time world champion of Hold'em, because I always have the best hand. You found a jack for the live one, huh? 2003 is a year that poker aficionados know all too well. It was the beginning of the poker boom. And by boom, we really mean explosion. It's an ace! <laughs> now knocked out heavyweights Johnny Chan, Umberto Brennis, and Phil Ivey. My goodness! Who is this young man? An unheralded amateur by the name of Chris Moneymaker, yes, that's his real legal name, won entry to the main event via an $80 satellite tournament and shocked the poker world by taking home the title. This could be the last card of the 2003 World Series of Poker. It's a five! Yeah! 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 After this famous moment, which was broadcast to the world on ESPN, the World Series of Poker, and poker as a whole, would never be the same. That year, Moneymaker beat a field of 839 players. The following year, over 2,500 players competed. By 2006, 8,773 players were trying their luck and vying for million-dollar glory. With so many players wanting to play the main event, Binions could no longer keep up with the demand. So the Rio, with its colossal convention center, became the new home of the World Series until 2021, when the WSOP finally moved to the Las Vegas Strip. The World Series of Poker now calls two casinos home, Paris and the newly renamed Horseshoe Las Vegas. In 2022, the attendance record was almost broken. This year, we fully expect records to be made. The World Series of Poker main event may be over 50 years old, but the next 50 look even more flush than the last. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe if you enjoy the video so we can bring you more great WSOP content.